Yo, you heard the news? You ain't hear the news? Yo, you heard the news? I ain't you heard the nothing. news? You heard something? No, I ain't hear nothing. Oh, I heard right. the news. <laughs> I heard the news. Bet I heard the news. You want to collect all those comic books? You live in here? Yeah. You still want to comic books? Yeah. Got more comics than the mother. And just like that, we back, people. We back. We back with another dope ass combo call. And we got some. We got some bangers. You know, all dope. I'm sure you guys already know. Uh, Diamond had got hacked. I don't know what happened. They got hacked. It was. A, I don't know what's happening with our comic books right now. So Diamond got hacked, and a lot of the comic books. Certain marbles, indies, stuff like that, then hit shops. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I got two spots. One of my my main spots didn't have no diamond this week, no marvel, no indie. So we waiting on that shipment. My other spot, they got they they received their marvel books, but um no indies. So they had some of their ratios. I grabbed one of their ratios. And I, and I went back then hunting, you know what I'm saying? They had some back then keys I needed in the collection. And I had to grab So, if this is kind of channel you guys like watching, please consider like, comment, and subscribe. Here we do unboxings, we do anything pop culture, anything dealing with comic books and doggies can get in. You guys are in. So, with that said, let's get to these comic book guys. Hope you guys got a chance to grab everything you wanted to grab today. Tuck it to your collection. Forget about it. And hopefully down the line it look like something. Growing monetary value. Or just become a dope movie. A dope property. You know what I'm saying? Some type of series. Something is always dope that you know you have that in your collection secured. And if it becomes like a hit show, hit series, hit movie, it, it feels good, man, because you, that's the kind of comic book you can leave behind with loved one or something like that. Because, you know, movies are timeless, especially good movies. Solid good movies are epic, classic, timeless, and it doesn't matter whatever is in, people can always go back and watch it and enjoy it as we did in our, in our time and era present time so you know you gotta keep that into consideration know what i'm saying so it's always gonna be some type of value on a hit uh movie hit property and there's a comic book that is attached to it so it's always gonna be some type of value it's always cool to have that in your collection secure, secure. and it's, it's, it's a conversational piece man you can always tell the story sit your little grandkid on your lap and be like hey listen this book right here, this comic book right here is the first appearance of so forth and so on. And that's the movie you guys are going buku crazy over. This is the first appearance right I here. I bought this in 1961. And you wasn't even thought you know of what I'm saying? that. So, yeah, you know, that type of thing. So it's always cool to have them first appearances, them dope keys, older books, even modern books. Modern books is going definitely age and time as everything else you know what i'm saying but uh let's get to these comic books i held you guys up way too long and um yeah let's do it all right first up we're gonna do some um some dc dc came in on time so you know that's pretty cool we got the um the one in 25 first up one in 25 the joker number nine and this is the devil card like I said, I've been collecting the the, uh, the card uh, versions, card variants. I mean, if I can, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I ain't gonna go super crazy over them. But if it's an over-the-counter purchase, man, it's sitting there, dog, you're gonna grab it. So I paid, what, $30, $125, 35%, whatever. It's lit. All right, bang, bang. I don't know why I started with the ratios first. I right, dug you all over the place today. And then we got uh we got the another one in 25. We got Robin and Batman number one DC. Here you go. And this right here is the origin of uh Robin, I believe. The origin of the new Robin. So pretty dope, pretty clean. Love this cover. This cover is is slap right here. This is definitely slap right here. This covers me. I wouldn't call a comic book drip just yet, 
But it got a little drip texture to it. You know what I'm saying? It got properties. You know, puts it in the drip round. The drippy drip round. It's not that total, total drip. Paid $25 for this one. 30% off, you know, the rest. Bang, bang. And then we have some um, unbagged and bored comic books, which sucks. I still haven't got my shipment in, and I'm going nuts over it. And this is the Milestone Returns DC Static. This is Static Season 1, number 4. Went with this cover right here. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in the collection. Bang, bang. I want to see what they do with Milestone. Milestone has super dope properties, man. They have hardcore. I mean, yeah, hardcore. They got the uh, Blood Syndicate. They got a couple of joints, man. And I used to read them back in the days. They was, they was tough back in the days. You know what I'm saying? They'd go. It's, they was more or less like underground comic books at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like early 90s and shit. And I used to, my man had put me on them joints. He was like, yo, read this. And I just fell in love with the covers back then. You know what I'm saying? Seeing, especially that was that warrior, that warrior ever. You know what I'm saying? Like street gangs. Man. People will pull up, but they ain't pull up like they pull up now with sticks and mops and all that shit. Trying to hit people and, you know what I mean? When people pulled up back then, it was chains, bats, screwdrivers, hammers, tomahawks. Axes and all kind of shit like these dudes was nuts with it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was that era. So seeing them covers, it was like boom, seeing seeing brothers, sisters as heroes and you know what I'm saying fighting crime, so forth and so on. Those books were super dope to me. So yeah, that's it. I hope they do something dope with them properties. That should be super dope. Next up we got DC Robin and Batman number one went with this variant right here. Bang bang. Super dope. I love the art on this one. This one right here, this is dope. See, I like art like this. This slaps right here. Yeah, this slaps. This is a dope ass cover right here. Look at that. That's dope. Bang, bang. Glad to have that in the collection. Then we got Robin the Batman, one of three. Went with this cover. Super dope, super clean. Glad that this in collection as well. Bang, bang. And we got uh, Action Comics 1036 DC. Went with this variant. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in collection. This cover slaps too. Super dope. Glad to have this one. This one's clean. Like this one. And then we have. Oh, we. Oh, did somebody say. Who got slapped? Slap? Somebody got slapped? Who got slapped? Somebody got slapped? Who slap who? I'm not talking to you about bringing you my sick shit. Get the fuck out of my face! Bro, I just said I'm not talking to you, dog! God! Bang! Slap of the day, slap of the day. We got a Rose Besh, y'all. Rose Besh on DC, y'all. Look at that, man. Come on, man. This Rose Besh is dope. I don't know what y'all talking about. Rose Besh ain't shit. Look at this Rose Besh right here. This Rose Besh is silly. Drippy. Comic book drip. Drippy. There you go. Glad to have this in the collection. This one's sick right here. Comic book drip, guys. Hope you guys got this one in the collection. This is drip. Bang, bang. Rose Besh. This is Rose Besh. See? I'll be sleeping on these artists, man. These artists pulling out them, them bangers out the world. Or they think anything. They look at all comical and silly and all that abstract art. And then they drop shit like that. You like, oh, snap. I ain't know they do art like that. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, oh snap is right. And then we got another slap of the day, another slap of the day. I ain't even gonna go through the ordeal. You know what the slap sound like if you don't rewind it and get slapped again. And bang, another slap of the day. We got another piece from Moco, guys. This is Venom number one. New story arc after Donnie Cates. Woo! 
Looking forward to this one. I heard some new appearances in here, some first appearances. What? Okay. Okay. Let's see what this one's hitting for. So this is the, uh, I believe, the 1 in 25. Am I correct? The 1 in 25, maybe? So bang, bang. Super dope, super clean. Glad to have this in collection. Look at that. I know this one's a little different, but trust me, it's the difference. The, it's the... It's the weirdness of it that makes it dope, man. It makes it drippy, man. I drippy. Think it's just, you don't see this on average covers, man. It, look, it really looks like art. This is some art you would see in a museum and be like, what the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? And this is what this is. And this is. was an uh, online order. I had one that's in the auction. It was an eBay auction. And this is Star Wars, The High Republic number 10. And this is the variant. And this is her first cover appearance, her first appearance. I don't really know her name. I'll put it down below for you guys. I'm not even going to try to attempt to butcher it. But I had missed this, guys. And the funny thing is, shout out to CMS. CMS, the vet, you know what I'm saying, the homie. Shout him out, put it right here. Go follow him, give him some love. You know what I'm saying? Solid, solid individual. Know what he talked about. He, he... He is key collect key collector app in his own in his own right. Excuse me, I had heartburn like hell. What the f just Yo. happened? Do I cut this or let it rock? I'm gonna let it rock. Hell, y'all y'all had heartburn before, right? Yeah, that was heartburn. That was that was indigestion. Like, what the f was that? But anyway, uh, yeah, man, he put me on to this man because one of my videos, the intro, I started the video out. At the comic book store going through the shelves and the comic books there. And he had a good eye. He had that eagle eye. He was like, yo, doggy, get that comic book in the beginning of your video. It's right there on the corner of that Star Wars joint. Get that one, man. Don't let that one sit there. And I just missed this. So when I went back the next day, I read the, I read the comment. But I was like, nah, I can wait until tomorrow. Ain't nobody really... You know, shop over there like that, really in tune with key collector or in tune with certain keys and first appearances. You know, I mean, they not like us in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Where we hunting down shit like this. But um, in any event, he was like, yo, grab that. And I said, I can sit on it until tomorrow and I'll shoot down there early in the afternoon when they open up and grab it. You know what I'm saying? Grab it for a decent price, whatever, cover price. Man, that thing was gone, man. That thing was gone. I was like, God damn. It. So somebody had to see my video and seen it was there. It was like, oh, and ran down there to go grab it because they know where I shop at. But in any event, glad I was able to get this. And I paid, it was under $7, shipping and handling included. Won it on the, on the auction. I was like the only one bidding on it. I was so, I was so dirty. I was like, damn man, they gonna shill bid me like 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 mug, cause it's it's drying up right now. If you look online, anywhere online, this one dried up. This one's gone. They have a second print with her on the cover, and I believe it's a uh, comic comic mint or it's one of them places, and they offering you the option to buy it as a 9.8 graded. At maybe seventy dollars or something like that, forty-five dollars or something like that. But it's an open order, so that's the only thing that sucks. But it's a second print, and it also has her on the cover as well. And it's already graded nine point eight. So I went and copped that one as well. I'm sure you guys know about it. If not, I'll put the link on the bottom, or whatever. Or you can hit me up and ask me for the link. Next up, I had grabbed these. These were still lingering around. This is thumbs. We all know um, there's only one through four. Couldn't get the fifth issue. They didn't have the fifth issue, but I'm, I'm okay with that. All these is crispy. All these is crispy, minty. And um, you see the price right here, guys? See that price? Yeah, every one of them cost me $5.25 with a little small discount. Way of Earth World, thank you guys. So I grabbed these for under $20, $23, under <laughs> 20 something dollars, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty dope online. They already going a little bit up there as a set. They going up there like 70 to 80, almost 100. So glad to have these in the collection, solid. You know, it's already option with Todd McFarlane. Then you have Sean Lewis. Sean Lewis is actually a local 
to Albany, New York. So I'm trying to tap in with him, see if I get a uh some type of autograph or something. I'm saying I'm gonna reach out to him because he's definitely local and um he's accessible, he's tangible, and uh we're gonna make it happen. And also, last but not least, last but not least, I had to get this. I had to get this before this shit just get ghost. And it was in beautiful conditions, a new stand, and um I paid $65 for it. Maybe a little more than I wanted to, but this book is super hot right now. And this is the first appearance of Star Fox, Thanos' brother. And there's a big speck on it, so I had to grab it. And it's a clean, I mean clean, clean copy. Super clean, super dope. Glad to have this in the collection before it got really, really silly. As you can see right here, guys, this thing is clean. This thing is definitely clean. Bang, bang. Corner sharp, really sharp, really sharp. And I'm glad to have it in the collection. Super dope, super clean. Nice little get right there. So, like I said, guys, uh, Marvel Indies. Probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, look for a, a video Friday maybe or Saturday. I apologize, it's gonna be a little bit later than expected, than anticipated, but uh, it is what it is, man. We gotta make do with what we have and what we are able to get. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your evening. You know, and keep collecting what you love collecting, guys. I'm gonna leave you to it. This is all I got for you today. Stay safe. Doggy. One. Doggy. Ah, doggy.